Okay, so here we are. This is the uh, prototype um, test bed for the um, large LED clock I'm making. Right now, I just have a little LED display here, um, but the final version is going to have six inch tall LEDs for the time and seconds, and four inch tall for the date. And so that's what we have here AM, PM. So it's 10:43 PM, 41 seconds. And the date is May 28th. Um, so this unit is standalone, has power being supplied to it, has a wireless XB radio. Um, this chip here, it's, you can't see the actual chip, but this module here is actually what keeps the time. It has a temperature compensated crystal in it with battery backup. So if the unit loses power, here I'll kill power to it momentarily here. So we killed power. Um, but it's being backed up by the battery. If I resume power, the time picks up right where it left off. So the time is being transmitted wirelessly to this second unit, which is over here. Um, it has another radio just like this underneath this shield. You probably really can't see it, but this is a button shield, which I'm using to eventually set up the time set buttons. Um, but it's transmitting the time wirelessly to the screen. You see, it says the exact time that this does, 1044 and 1044, and it shows the date and that daylight savings time is on. Right now, all it is doing is reading time. Actually, what it's doing, it's sending a request to this saying, send me the time, and this microprocessor processes it and sends the time back wirelessly. It's all it's doing. Eventually, I'm going to have set commands, time set and date set commands where wirelessly I'll be able to set the time and date on this unit over here from this unit. So this is kind of the uh, build up slash prototype. The final version will be enclosed in nice cases and, and have their own dedicated circuit boards. So that's where I'm at with it.